you know, he gonna fuck these people's lives up so much, he gonna make them get out of here, man. And then their conscience, their conscience gonna convict them. And they gonna, they gonna be like, oh, I can't wait till that day. But that next day. But that time's running short, though. They ain't gonna yeah, be able to yeah, do it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Cause Esau's not gonna always? make his move oh, until he see all the neck out here. Yeah, the the down, down. We ain't yeah. stopping, bro. The scriptures say he that uh, keeps my works unto the end. What the, is that? What end is that? To him will I give power over the nations. What end is that? Yeah, they're working, boy. Uh, we've been out here working. That rain and shit. Let's go out here. Well, y'all, you know I respect y'all. Y'all have been out here for some years. For some years. Yeah, it really ain't nothing, though, but, but a blink of an eye. That's it's been there. It's been there. Yeah. It's been there. But, Evan, man, this is all I'm saying, though. Make sure y'all out here giving the truth. They ain't getting nothing but truth. Women, women, not manipulation or control <laughs> or not to get the last word. I want the truth. We got I it. Want, wait a minute. I don't we want manipulation. We got to get the last word, Wait a minute. Listen. I don't that want the manipulation. Lord say, Stop I don't want yeah. the last word Stop and I don't mouth. want control. We don't We don't want that. We don't need that. I mean, Hillary Clinton and them, they do that. People want truth. I mean, let, let me hear your truth. truth what well, we ever said it was not true? Huh? Give us one example of anything we ever said that was not true. What is true? Yeah, what well, is true? I'm not here to argue with y'all, man. I just don't feel like we're serious. Don't, don't, don't be manipulating yeah. people. Don't be freaking tell the truth. We got don't power be trying to manipulate the last That's word. what I'm saying, but you, but you acting like we're not telling the truth. Huh? So well, give me the, I just want an example. Tell us one thing we said that was wrong. We got power to manipulate people, man. We got that power? We got that power? I mean, no, no, no. No, wait, 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 wait. There y'all go again. So what's your message, man? What's your message? The gospel, the kingdom of heaven's at hand. John the Baptist, yes, same sir. message John the Baptist. Well, I hope that we preach the same gospel, bro. So you don't believe in the kingdom is at hand? That John the Baptist was pushing. I don't, I don't believe that, man. What was John the Baptist pushing, man? Jesus. That's right. That's, That's what, what we're doing. Teach him. That's what we're doing. Teach your house shy. The kingdom, you know? right? Perfect. You want the kingdom to come, don't you? Uh -huh. The kingdom all right here, where is it at? The kingdom is the best. Those who got Christ in their heart. Okay, you, well, you don't understand what you just said. No, 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 no. You don't understand what you just I'm said. I'm through with it, man. And the kingdom is within you. Why did the Lord say it? Right, you're right about that. Why did the Lord say that kingdom come? America's not the kingdom, though. On earth. America's the kingdom of Satan. And the Lord going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. You don't believe that? You don't believe that? You love America, don't you? Absolutely. Greatest right country in the world, man. How is that? Homosexuals can get See, married. No, 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 no. I ain't down with the homosexuals. Why not? I ain't down with the homosexuals. I'm down with America. Why are you judging people, bro? You in the spirit of the Autobots. Check this out. You in the spirit of the Autobots. I'm always doing something. I'm always doing something. I'm always doing something. I'm always doing something. I'm like Galatron. It's great. You're just having fun with you, man. That's all. I know. I know, but I'm going to teach this then. Teach this then. You teach this the truth. Just just hey, bro, bro, I'm just God loves you. I'm God loves you. The, 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 the Autobots loved everybody. Yeah, the auto, yeah, Optimus Prime, he, he got everybody killed. Right. I, he, that's why Megatron took him out. So you got on YouTube? Yeah. That's why we got Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're the Decepticons. Yeah, that's uh, Matthew 28. <laughs> Matthew 28. You know, the Decepticons. Well, Luke 10. Meg Megatron, Matthew Galvatron. 10. He wanted the, the people that would look like the humans. They were beneath him, and he wanted to treat them as such, man. You know? We're Israelites, and we coming in that spirit of Israelites, so the people are beneath us, man. We're better than the people, man. We're better than everybody in this world, man. What you look for? Yes. Oh, hey, John the Baptist, John the Baptist, too? Hey, okay. It's the same thing. That's, that's an old bag. Old wine bag. Preaching the kingdom, man, is putting people beneath us, man. That's the kingdom what we're preaching as we call them. He's talking outside. about the he's talking about the wicked too, the two thirds of Israel. Yeah. And the other the heathen nation. He ain't talking about our brothers because the scriptures say uh you know the first shall be last, but the last shall be first. But all these other raggedy mother all these heathens, the, the Lord said we're gonna rule over the heathen with a with a rod of iron. You know what I'm saying? It tells you that in the scriptures we're going to, the other nations, that they're going to be our servants. That scripture, it's all through the Bible. That's in, that's biblical. It's you know our possessions. I mean? it's, it's, it's our possession. The Lord, the Lord said that uh, uh, many nations come from Adam, but there's only that one line that was chosen, and the heathen nations are at, are at spit. That's what the Bible says. We can get, hey, you can get that every. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and 13.
It says, and Yahweh shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not beneath. Thou shalt not be beneath, if thou keepest the commandments unto Yahweh thy God, which I command thee this day to observe to do. So when you flip a coin, what's the coin? Head and tail. Why? Because it belongs to God, man. Because it belongs to you. What scripture says that, though? Hey, man, you know what? He tries to throw a parable at you. You know what? What? The only person mind you messing up is yours, bro. Okay. I'm serious, okay. man. You're saying that, but what scripture is that? You, 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 you just read that, right? Yeah, you You just read that, right? You just read that, right? Yeah, yeah, I read that. You messed up the head, bro. You messed up the head, man. He read the Bible and it said you messed up in the head. So you don't believe in the Bible. We don't want to listen to you. Why we want to listen to you? Why we want to listen to you? Right? Every time. That's why I don't even get mad about that guy. That's a woman that gets cut up and And all he did was read his scripture. We didn't even break it down or nothing, did you? Yeah. He just read the scripture and said, say, that's what I'm talking about. What scripture say? Those that are offended in me, don't you know? Man, them do big curse. Okay. We've we oh, been oh, cursing him for like 10 years this or something. the biggest, I told you so in the book. I'm be sitting there laughing with you on the ground, crying and shit. <laughs> like, damn, dog, what a love of Jesus. He already looking bugged out. He tries it every time, man. Every he always time. come up to see for a uh, trying try to be cool. I'm going to dictate our camp. Right. Yeah, for real. Oh, back in the old days, we used to really get a ton. Back, we, back when I was crazy, boy, I used to, mother, I used to call him a motherfucking piece of shit. I said, I called him every name in the book back in the day. Why he wants to do this? Now you just, man, you don't even work. Yup. You can't even worry about that guy now, man. Dude. Why is he so emotional? Hey, let's bring that one scripture back up. That loop. Spirit of a woman. Luke 10. You started at 12 too. I said, wait, actually. I said 10. It says, but until. Hey, Reed started right above that one. Uh, on 9. And heal the sick. That are I just started all over, right where it says the thing that you're supposed to go do. Yeah. All the way from the top. What? Yeah. And Luke 10 and 1, after these things, the Lord appointed over others. Oh, I'm stuttering today. It's okay, just, just calm down, the spirit will run through you. Other 70 also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and, and place where they himself come. Yeah, that is what the Lord commanded us. It's a commandment, like he said, when you go out teaching, you sit them out in pairs of two. That's why when you go out teaching, you should have at least somebody else with you. I mean, if you don't have somebody to go with you, you can still go solo. But it's best that you at least have one other person as a witness. You know what I mean? So go ahead. Say, Therefore said he unto them, the harvest truly is great. Yeah, the harvest truly is great. Now, we out here working in the harvest. You know, out in the fields, because the world is a field. And it's full of plants. It's full of the crops of the Most High. Those crops being the people. So the, the, the harvest is great. The Lord got us out here working, harvesting. Right? Go ahead. It says, but the laborers are few. But the laborers are few. Few. Keep going. Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Right. So we praying that the Lord gives us more laborers. So that's the whole reason we come out here. We looking for fellow laborers to come out here and do this work. Like your boy that was just came up here, he ain't out there laboring. You know, he walking through the field. He's like one of them slot. Could you imagine when you out working in the field, you doing all the work, you don't got like a thousand bales of hay or a wheat or whatever. And you got this guy just, just walking through here, dragging his knuckles. You know what I mean? Ain't putting in no work. You get mad when you see this. But you can't carry your own weight, your own load. You know what I'm saying? All that work. Motherfucker will help you get the done quicker and shit. And then he complained about us working. We trying to get the job done so we get the hell out of here. And he come up, why y'all work? Why y'all working? Like, do you not see this this big ass field and all this work that needs done? You out here lollygagging, bro. You sound like me and my son talking to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like we always want her, man. 
Yeah. Well, we expect the woman. Hey, you can't expect a woman to do too much. I, yeah, I always do all the work for the woman. You know what I mean? If I go to work. I, I don't let women do nothing because they just take too long. That's why there ain't no women out here doing this work. No way. The Lord never commanded a woman to go on the streets and teach. That was for the men to do. You know what I mean? There's, that's why you see the. Uh, some women might disagree with that, but they'll never go out and teach anyway. Because in the spirit, they know that that's not, the spirit ain't with that. Go ahead. In verse 3, Luke 10 and 3. Go your way, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Yeah, lambs, because we're supposed to be like lambs. A lamb is a peaceful creature. That's why we come out here, we got to be, we got to stay in that uh, spirit. We got to be in that spirit, the spiritual spirit. We can't be coming out here in a carnal spirit wanting to fight people. These people, they, they the wolves and stuff. They, they the killers and murderers. We're not killers and murderers, you know what I'm saying? We're not thieves and robbers. We're spiritual men. So we ain't out here to fight people. We out here to fight with these demons, you know what I mean? That spiritual warfare. Paul said, uh, don't suffer as an evildoer. Right. But they gonna have people come out. While, while you teaching, they gonna have people try to set you up. Try to get you to throw a punch or something just so they can lock you up. You know what I mean? Violent. Yes, it is violent. So, because we out here in the midst of wolves, you gotta be careful. That's why you gotta be as a lamb in the midst of wolves. You know what I'm saying? But if you, the scriptures also say, "Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove." See, we harmless as doves, but you gotta be wise as a serpent. We're smarter than the serpent. The Lord has given us, given us more understanding than the serpent. The serpent, he manipulating the society. And, you know, you know what I'm saying with the government, but we see it. This doofus, this is straight doofus. Goofy, goofy. <laughs> yeah, but we wiser than the serpent, man. You, you got, you got to think two steps ahead of the serpent, bro. Always keep your eye He's always out to get you and to devour you. Yep, that's why you gotta make sure you're trying to obey the laws of the land. It get your ass caught slipping. Carry you the purse with scribe, it's like a script, with shoes, and to look no man by the way. And to whatsoever house he enter first, say, Peace be to this house. And if the son. If the son of peace be there, the peace shall rest upon it, and if not, it shall turn to you again. In the same house you may eat and drink and such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house, and to whatsoever city you enter, and they receive Oh yeah, that's the scripture we're using on the Jehovah Witness. Yeah, you go not house to house. Hey, we going house to house to house, bro. Man, I've what? seen videos that can pump water on Jehovah's Witness. It's a Get the fuck away from me. They deserve to get hot water poured on. Hey, you know what? I don't even want to practice on them no more. Because you get tired of talking to Jehovah with me. It's like, I'm just trying to sleep, man. They always come at the wrong time. Well, well you hit them with the scriptures? Well, we used to get them on camera all the time. And there was a point they stopped coming to our house. And there's one time that they covered my house at the wrong time. I was drunk. I was gone. I had my guitar too. I started singing my song. That was a good one right there. I was gone out my mind drunk. That was the worst thing they ever did just come to my house. I was clowned on it. Oh, look at this. Little Israelite woman. Like, ooh. Like, ooh, you cute. Verse 9, verse 10 and 9. And heal the sick that are, that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of the Most High has come nigh unto you. Right, the kingdom of the Most High has come nigh unto you. That's why, why we go back to the Lord's Prayer. That's why you, when you say the Lord's Prayer, you say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's the whole point of this truth, is we praying to the Lord's kingdom comes to this earth and that this kingdom that we living in is destroyed yeah that's an easy up fake ass
be like Esau. If you're the Here itself has a different vibration. Totally different vibration. Yeah, you got who in that right mind will want America to continue? You know what I mean? You know America's gonna be destroyed by God, right? Make America great again. They gonna wipe it off the face of the earth, bro. The Lord gonna wipe his ass with America. That's you know what I'm saying? That's literal. He gonna take a big shit on America. It, it, it's up out of there, bro. Take a big shit on the black one. Yeah. A flush ass right down the toilet. This is her God, man. It is. Cause America's they, her God. Cause they exalted here too. They giving all these liberties and freedoms. They get them incentives. That's them incentives. The scriptures, yep. The scriptures say a gift destroyed a heart, and you can say their heart's been destroyed. Right. Hey, we can get that scripture. That the lamentation. They like. They they are like crueler than the ostriches. You know what I'm saying? They some real stuff out there. Real they, they, they were picking men out to get some, uh, what they call it? Section 8. And that's crazy too. How come, how come in America, if a woman, if a woman is not able to pay for her child and her baby, that she gets like Section 8 child support food stamps. But if a man's not able to afford to pay for his baby, he goes to jail. Where they do that at? That's fucked up. The woman get rewarded for being poor, but the man, if he's poor, oh, he gets punished. She get a reward for being a hoe. They yeah, get rewarded for being a hoe. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do in America. Uh, adultery is promoted. That's being a hoe. You get rewards. You get gifts. That's, you know, that's them gifts from the serpent. You know what I'm saying? Be a hoe. What's that? <laughs> well, the scriptures did say, let the filthy be filthy still. Let the wicked be wicked and filthy be filthy. And they're going to keep being filthy till those missiles hit. You know what I'm saying? And then a the missile fire going to clean all that filth up. All you know, that fire purifies. But you know, all that gonorrhea, all that AIDS, and all that going to be. Burned up by that fire. So I can't see shit in there. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up. Rise up, you women that are eased. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Yeah, because the, the daughters of Israel, they're careless. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't, they don't, uh, they never think about the commandments of the Most High. They out here sleeping around, having sex with hundreds of men. They, they got uh, five babies from five different babies' daddies. You know what I'm saying? They're careless. They locking their children up in the closet while they go to the club to get their drink on. We see the stories on the news. Don't give a damn about your children. Check it out. Oh, did you have you read something? This is Shara 23 and 22. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in a hair by another man. Yeah, that's how they do it. They be having uh, babies, then they bring uh, they got a new man in the house. You know what I'm saying? Talking about this is your uncle right here. This your new uncle. You know, little kids growing up, they got all kind of uncles. For well, first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High, and second, she had trespassed against her own husband. Law of adultery. Yeah, law of adultery. And third, she had played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. Yeah, that's an abomination. Yeah, is when you have yeah. children by another man. Here is when you was with one man, had children with him, and you want to lay down with someone else and had children with him. Another that's disgusting. That's filth. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That is a curse. Yep, they do say that. Yeah. Hey, we should get that. This woman hates her baby daddy. She hates the children. She hate. She hate all. She hate other women. Other Israelite women. She what? hates them all. She hates her mother. To the beat. The the the. Cause her mama taught her what she knows. So she looking at mama like mama. You taught me the wrong way. But what? she's still continuing the way mama taught her. You know what's the uh, proverb? 
As is the mother. Yeah, as is the mother, so is the daughter. That's right. Because they, they, they didn't become the hoes overnight. They was bred that way. They was raised that way. They didn't have a good upbringing. That's why people didn't have good upbringings. They wasn't raised on the laws and commandments of the Most High. They was raised up the, 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 the women telling their daughters to go play the field. You got to go test the waters. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to leave him. He ain't got no money. You need to get with this guy. He was crazy. Oh, Tyrone, Tyrone got a good job. Yeah, he got a good job. Tyrone, dump rag. Oh, you know, Lee Boy just got hired on at um, like Cody, you know? Right, right. Him and your daughter got Yeah, Grandma's the number one pimp. While all this going on, this bitch has the false illusion that she's independent. You know? Well, she's about to lose her job anyway. All these people about to lose their jobs, man. They're gonna be unfucking employed. Unemployed. When would they gonna know? Hey, yeah. listen. Uh. While y'all down here waiting for the code of us, you know, continue on the same tradition that you've been living in. The scripture says the grinding shall cease. Yep. You know? Cause they are few. Yeah, ain't gonna be no coda bus on that day. Right. They go. The coda bus is gonna be converted Miss, Miss to some. Independence. Miss independence. That independent women shit. That's just a joke. That's a man. false illusion. It's an illusion. And these women out here toiling. They going to work every day, working two jobs. Wait, well, a woman ain't even supposed to be working. That's how stupid y'all are. Go home and pop them pills so she can cope with day to day living. Yep. Pop them pills. Whatever pills she popping. Right, 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 right. Just to cope with everyday living, man. They, my, plus a lot of them on them antidepressants. That's what I was referring to. Oh, yeah, them antidepressants. Right. Yeah. Right. One hard working yeah, oh, no one. Yeah. I ain't never seen one. They be going, they be somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? And they get paid just the same as everybody else. They're trying to, they argue right with um, raising the winner's pay, man. Making the people more pay. It's like every single, you know, it, I don't know why the fuck there's so many princesses on the movies that be showing on the Disney princesses. Yeah, but, you know, it kind of be like the old back in the day the king shit. But anyways, the king be trying to like choose the, the, the uh, thing. The king try to, uh, the, the daughter and the husband, and she all you know, all mad and shit, she be the jealous. And at the end of the story, he would be like, okay, fine, she's like, you know, he's like, you know, he's like, you know, he's always wrong at the end. He say sorry, he can do whatever the fuck you want. That's that that's program. They program the, uh, the children from an early age with them cartoons. The, the, the Disney Channel is owned by the so-called Jew, Esau. Like Beauty and the Beast? That's all. That's that's all mind control, bro. All that TV shows and cartoons. That's why they just had. I just seen an article about the first Disney uh, cartoon with uh, with gays kissing in it. Yeah, I saw that too. Just came I out. Oh yeah, the, the, you can see where that could go. Yeah, the forbidden fruit. Then it's bringing out some shit. What that? Uh, Mary had a little lamb. Uh, Christ, you know what I'm saying? Mary had a little lamb. That's where that comes from. Yeah, I never knew that. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That's why when you, uh, yeah, that's a good point. You watch, you ever see Fantasia? That's old, right? Because Disney's always been satanic. That's why when that Fantasia came out, Mickey Mouse was a wizard. Came out yeah. casting spells and shit. And they said when it Ooh. first came out, the people was bugged out over that. You know what I mean? People went and see no wizard shit nothing on TV like that. They do some crazy things. They got all kind of images of them on the child pornography. All kind of shit. Walt Disney. Walt Disney was just a big time free mason. They they teach his good riches and bad riches and shit. Uh, there's a weird spirit out here. The first spirit. Let me get this uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 1. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, 
and the judgment which the Lord your God commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land whether you go to possess it. The thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee thou and thy son and thy son's son all the days of thy life and all thy days may be prolonged. Right. You're supposed to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. That's all people's pride. They don't fear the Lord. They just doing whatever they want to do. You know what I mean? You're supposed to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. And the commandments is there to help you. Like we going back to the pork thing again. The reason the Lord said don't eat pork in the Bible is because it causes high blood pressure. It gives you parasites. It makes you fat. Like you see all these fat people, obese people. In America, America has a problem with obesity, with diabetes, with diabetes. You know what I'm saying? Cause and you look at all these fat people, they all eat pork. You know what I'm saying? And that's something they all got in common. It's very rare when you see someone that's obese who does not eat pork. You know what I mean? Cause your body can't properly digest that. Columbus in the top ten in the most fattest obesity. Yeah, it's disgusting, bro. It's fucking disgusting. You're talking about the Coda bus. You ever get on a Coda bus when a 500 pounder rolls on that bus? Sure be stinking because you know they can't watch themselves once you get to that weight you gotta have somebody hold you down with the hose in the backyard i met this bitch on tag right when the pictures she's beautiful man because they don't show the body she's just all head shots <laughs> let this bitch her stomach got out first oh man for real that's how they get you you know they give you them uh the camera angle from up high right because gravity take effect yeah nothing on that back man i was like damn she's sitting in the car man that's when Tim told me to turn the air on, man, because he's always overheating. <laughs> yeah, when they start overheating, boy. I just couldn't do it. It's so fat. Bitch so fat, she got to use a swimming pool for a bathtub. You know what I'm saying? Hey, these people are grossly obese. Arms look like two big ass life jackets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't like, yeah, the, like the blow up thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look like yeah. They, especially, it's always been, they be trying to dress all nice. Like power lift, you know, power yeah. lift. Got them big ass arms. Bro. Man, you smack them arms, they just. <laughs> they be stinking the arm pits, man, because they eat all their unclean shit. Uh, awesome. They come out of the woman's pores more than the men. You know, come out of their pores a lot more than us. They come out her coochie. That's why they always spraying them.